Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Moor Lane to finish off this season weekend. Salford City versus Curzon Ashton in the Van Arman National League North. Three games to go, and really this game becomes a must win for Salford. Curzon is safe from the table, nothing to play for, but will that make them more dangerous opponents? We'll find out in the next 90 minutes. Trying to put off Lynch. Guess ball comes in. Free headed from John O'Hunt. Well saved by Jay Lynch. Time to his right hand side. It's not clear yet though. Low shot comes in. It's drilled in from Curzon Ashton into the side nettings. But fantastic save there from Jay Lynch to palm away. Hunt's header. Throws back to Simon Grant on the halfway line though. Now looking up again. Salford playing this high line. Grant clips it into the box looking for Paniotu. Headed clear by Daniel Shaw. Burton heads it back out to right-hand side though for Nottingham, he's going to take on Ryan Jennings. So Sam Walker, three in the middle, good bit of skill there from not to try and get past Jennings, still going with it, lays it off for Johnston, Johnston with a cross in, headed clear at the near post, comes to the far post, Paul with a header, tipped on by Harry Paniosu, he's spiked offside anyway, and uh, Hakan Burton has made the save. Guest again, ready to take the corner for the Nash. Cross comes in towards the near post, it was won by Daniel Shaw, straight into the arms of Jay Lynch, so another Effort on target, but collected and dealt with by the Amis. Half an hour played, still 0 0. Boston 1, Gloucester 1. Equalised there. And that's one of those games where neither side really got too much to play for. Paniotu makes the challenge, Curzon win it back though. Terry McKenzie at the top of the box just needs to lay it off. McKenzie goes down, referee says nothing doing, comes to Brown on the edge of the box. Brown plays it in. Shot comes in from uh, Ryan Jennings, wider Jay Lynch's left hand post. It's a little bit of a let off there, several chances to clear the ball for Salford. You know, it was a very scrappy sort of 30 seconds there from both sides really, you know, a lack of, um, a lack of decisiveness, decisiveness from either side. Grant clears the ball forward, flicked on by Pandy 2 brought down by Phoenix, his pass on Phoenix, right footed, flicks it past Burton and makes it 1-0. No he's not, referee's given a foul. That's a very soft foul to give there. Ali, what are your thoughts on that one? I thought he'd done well to turn him there, so I thought it was a shame really, like, but he looks sharp today, Fino, so hopefully he'll get another chance in a minute. Cross comes in from Guest towards the near post, flicked on towards the far post there by Daniel Shaw. He made the run completely unchecked, unmarked, and luckily for Salford, no one there wasted the back post. You know, something we pride ourselves on is defending well and defending as a unit, but I mean, it's the crux of what we were saying on Friday, wasn't it? This isn't the hallmark of our teams, and I don't know what you put that down to. Curzon trying to break. Bailey on the right-hand side, looks up, thought about the shot. He's worked his way into the area. Bailey goes for low shot. Lynch palms it away. Another big save by the Salford keeper there to get it away from goal. And Curzon not following up with anybody in the six-yard box. James Bailey on the right-hand side, plays it into the middle. But Scott Burton intercepts it. Midway inside the Salford half. It's out to the left-hand side to Allen. Allen. Loose ball to the back, Simon Grant latches onto it though, gets a clear up field, Hume challenging for it, Hunt winning it, Allen picks up though, comes forward, plays it off the back side of Paul Ennis, and works out to right hand side, Nottingham galloping forward now, just needs to get the crossing, cuts back inside, into box now Michael Nottingham, still going towards the byline, gets the ball over, comes in the middle, shirt being pulled, shot comes in from Johnston, Walk still claim for the penalty, Allen's shot's blocked there. Comes back out to Allen, we'll come back to that penalty shout in a minute. Rich Allen on the left hand side of the box, lays off for Bruff, Bruff, ball comes in low, cleared by Curzon Ashton, out for the corner, but big, big penalty shout there. You do sort of wonder there when that ball is bouncing on the edge of the six yard box, is why you know, somebody latched onto it just a little bit quicker. Corner in, Priestley loose out to Tangle Shaw, but it comes down to John Johnston on the right hand side, hooks it back into the far post, Priestley underneath it, bounces in front of Nottingham, another shout of handball as the shot goes blazing over the bar, well headed back forward and uh, well it bounces all the way back through to Hakan Burst, he doesn't need to go on a magical mystery tour. Simon Grant picks it up. Grant tries to play it back down, but it's in sets by Bailey. Now Nottingham has to get back, gets there ahead of Jennings. So it comes off Nottingham, and it's throw in for Curzon Ashton. Jennings has just gone down on the halfway line now, staying on the pitch. Just to maybe try and waste a bit of time, you reckon, by the fact that he could have quite easily gone off there. Yeah, you know, it's one of those, um, you know, one of those sort of low key tactics that you see players using when. Going down sort of on the wrong side of the other sideline and 
it's one of those really infuriating nuances of the game. It's back on now though, Johnson, that's a great ball out to the left hand side for Allen. Allen now up against Bailey, into box, right foot it, clips it, it's just wide to the far post. Great ball out from Johnston and a really good effort from Richie Allen. Just couldn't quite clip it and get it to come down low enough, but that's the flash there, the chances that Salford needs to capitalise on in the closing 20 minutes here. While he was here, Luke Clark was probably one of my favourite midfielders, the way he can control the game and some of the balls he can play and you know his distribution on the pitch is you know second to none and it, you know it's a shame to see him go out but you know you just saw last season when he had the likes of Scott Burton and Gary Stockford from the midfield it was going to be very hard for him to displace them because you know they, they work so well together. Goes Nashville's turn to break Ryan Hall on the right hand side taking on Patrick Bruff. So come with it Hall into the area cutting in from the right hand side low shot towards near post gathered by Jay Lynch. Clark curls the ball in, comes to um, Alex Brown, now out to the right hand side, Bailey looking to get the cross in, comes Clark on the top of the box, turns past Walker as well, Clark with the shot, Jay Lynch somehow saves it and pushes it onto the post there, Luke Clark nearly coming back towards his old club and it's a corner to Curzon from the far side, good work by Luke Clark there though to get the shot off for Curzon. Nottingham throws it into Burton, back out to Nottingham who wins it well there. Johnston tips over the top four, Nottingham needs to get the cross in, low towards the near post, right on, Walker coming in, Walker gives off with the lead in the 83rd minute here at Moore Lane against his former club. Nottingham rolls it across, it was flicked on and there was Walker on Mark coming in at the far post to give Salford what could be an extremely important three points. Imagine Nottingham is going to go towards the byline. He does so. Jordan Hume picks it up. Down in the corner now, Salford are trying to run down the clock. Guess takes the ball off and no, gets it into Alex Brown. Alex Brown, 30 seconds over the four minutes added on. The referee does blow the whistle. Full time here. A late smash and grab from Sam Walker. Makes it Salford City 1. Curzon Ashton nil. A big, big three points to keep Salford in the playoff race going into the final two games.